to Girona. España. Are you looking for a city break on a budget? Then look no further. In this video, we're going to show you around the beautiful city of Girona. We're going to show you some free things to do, some amazing little coffee shops, and some really nice places to eat. And we're going to do all this without breaking the bank. This was nice and peaceful. We told this. Lewis doesn't want to talk at the moment, so I thought I would just do one while I was walking to the hotel. Casa Cundaro. As we weren't in Girona for long, we chose to stay at Casa Cundaro, which was in the heart of the Jewish quarter. If you choose to stay at Casa Cundaro, the reception for this place is actually at the Hotel Historic. The rooms, while basic, were full of character and came in at about 90 euros, so really good value, especially when you consider the location. After quickly dropping the bags off, we wanted to get out and show you some of Girona. Plus, we were starving. After a short walk, we came across loads of cafe bars. We chose to eat at Originum and it didn't disappoint. After refueling, we set off to explore the city. What's really nice about the old town is there's so much packed into a small space, so you can get around it at a really nice pace. And we came across this public art installation in this cute little square. So we are just walking around the old town looking for our restaurant for dinner. Just walking around this medieval city is like an activity on its own. There's so much to see around every corner, especially in the Jewish quarter. Okay guys, so today when we was out, we found a really good dinner location right next to the cathedral. So come with us. One of the reasons we chose to eat here was its amazing location, as seen in the Game of Thrones. More about that in a bit. Right, where did we eat? The Café La Bistra and we definitely recommend it. Yeah. Let's go find Bravos. We're up bright and early because we couldn't come to Girona without exploring all the filming locations that are used in the Game of Thrones and we definitely want to show you guys. But first, coffee. Girona's got an awesome coffee scene so we're going to go and hit one of the first coffee shops. But I would say this is particularly one of the best ones uh, with the best view looking up towards the cathedral. Okay guys so we've made it to Girona Cathedral. You can see it behind us up there and this served as a set of Baylor in loads of scenes in the show. I speak for King Tommen of House Baratheon, first of his name. The coffee shop and the adjoining buildings were all CGI'd out to give you the view over Blackwater Bay. This area was used when Jamie Lannister rode his horse up the stairs to save Marjorie Tyrell from doing the Walk of Atonement. Location number two. This is the staircase in Bravos. Where I was being chased, by the way. Right, guys, we made it to location number three, the Arrows Baths. This is the Arrows Baths where I was fighting the wave again, and that happened a lot in Bravos. So, yeah, this is it. We'll show you a bit of it, and then we're off to number four. During Aya's epic chase scene through Bravos, you can see the wave jump off this wall into the marketplace, which would be just down to the right of where I'm stood right now. Welcome to location number four. Behind your own music school, you'll find this small square. This was home to the outside theatre. Aya hid behind this wall as she was spying on the Lady Crane, who she had been tasked to kill. So at the beginning of season six, Arya Stark is blind and begging on the streets of Bravos. 
Gamer from a filming location number five. Next stop, filming location number six. Should we get a coffee first? No, we've got to get to the thing. Oh, okay. Okay, location number six. Series six, episode seven. And this is where Aya jumps off the bridge, escaping away after she's been stabbed. But don't expect the same view out to the Bravosi statue out that way. Because this is what you get. Hello. Okay, this is filming location number seven. Welcome to the Old Town. Okay, so this is the monastery of St. Père de Galliance, which appears in series six. And this is where Samuel Tyler came with Little Sam and Gilly so that he could train to be a Meister. Obviously not Little Sam, Big Sam was training to be a Meister. <laughs> As we were heading to our final location, we started to feel a bit peckish. So we headed to a place that we'd heard about, which looked amazing. On the journey, we saw even more amazing architecture. This is La Fabrica. A cycling themed cafe right in the heart of Corona. And I'd go as far as to say that this is the best brunch I've ever had. Nice and peaceful. Our final filming location of the day is a spot you probably recognise. This is exactly where we had dinner yesterday. This area here is where we were sat. In the show you can see Aya leap down onto these stairs and roll down, knocking loads of fruit and veg down on the way. Then as the wave appears, she rolls over this wall right to where we were sat having dinner last night. How cool is that? Right, I think we're done here in Girona now, so that's our little 24-hour tour. We're going to head to some of the Costa Brava beaches. Let's go!